off. You should be able to read it as they did there. On the move to his left. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle is going to be made at the Rams' 24-yard line. Check, check, watch 54, watch 54. Let's go, G. Let's go. They'll try to draw Lindsey. They'll get him to the ground at the 20, following a pickup of four. Jack Rabbit, Jack Rabbit. They're going to hurry back to the line now. Second and six. Flush to his right. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. So the pass incomplete in the end zone, but contact and pass interference. And now where does the ball get placed? Yeah, at the one-yard line. One-yard line. They gave up excellent real estate on that one. That's going to work really, really well for the guys who threw it. Another shot from the one on second and goal. So we, an abbreviated halftime show as we get rolling to quarter three. Our starters likely to be out there for the third quarter as we get back underway in this second half. This is fielded at the chalk of the 10. And a nice job there as he gets this one up just shy of the 35-yard line at the 34. Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here in half two, no? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors, but overall, I think they wanted to be positive with them. Guys, we're right there. Just not playing as well as we need to. Let's pick it up, and we still have a chance to win this game. Yeah, they do. We'll see if they can pick it up. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. They go play action with Gurley. Now gone. And his throw here is incomplete. He was looking for Cooper Cup there. And that takes us from second to third down. You know, last week I remember asking you, what would an offensive coordinator be looking for week two of the preseason? Now we're in week three. Defensive coordinator-wise, what's he looking at? For the most part in preseason, you're playing pretty basic stuff, pretty vanilla defenses. You're looking for guys that play with abandon, that just go out and make plays. You kind of let their athletic ability take over in order for you to notice them. It appears they're going to come up empty on this first drive of the second half, still down by that slim margin. Yeah, and that's okay. You know, when, when you sit and analyze it, they're not happy about what happened having to go to the bench, but this gives them a chance to let their defense do some work while they on the sidelines go over what they're doing offensively and formulate a proper plan. So possession goes over here on the punt, and the Broncos take over. First down and 10. Yeah, ready. The Broncos onto the field, ready to start their next drive. They were able to get the ball back here, didn't surrender any points. Now they looked out of that lead. Now how about the boost the defense gave them? Going right out on the field, shutting them down, not giving up any points, and turning the ball back over. They want to do their part now and show them a little respect and some gratitude by scoring some points. And to get a little more cushion on second down. It's Lenzik, and he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. The Bronco first down there, 12 yards on the play. Well, we talked about Philip Lindsay so much last year, but it bears repeating. Undrafted in 2018, the Broncos would sign him in May, and that was a good decision. He would have a 1,000-yard season, nine touchdowns en route to a Pro Bowl appearance. So from undrafted to playing in the Pro Bowl in 10 months, that's pretty clean living for Philip Lindsay. 25 yards that time. So the defense blitzed. A nice job picking that up, completing the pass. And how in sync was the quarterback in his center on that play? They saw the blitz, made the appropriate calls, got the line engaged because now they know there are going to be extra guys coming at the quarterback. So they got their assignments down pat and kept them. And caught by Sanders. Touchdown, Broncos. Emmanuel Sanders, 36 yards. And the Broncos push further out in front. He put quite a bit of air underneath that touchdown pass. Of course, we knew that he had the strong arm. That part.
was easy. You could see that throughout his college career, but what you want to know about a rookie is, oh, and it's a fake. They'll try and throw for him. That's complete to Jake Butt. And he is not going to make it to the end zone. And this will remain a one-score game as the lead holds at eight. Protection was great. He had time to set up a campsite. But in the secondary, though, they were ready. And I think that in most places on the field, if you have that much time to throw the ball, someone's going to shake free and you'll find an open receiver. But condensed near the goal line on a two-point field. So it kind of closes in on them, and that allows you to cover a little bit.